Gemini. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you straight up. The beginning of this week is gonna be a little bit hairy. And we're gonna get into the astrology. Gemini, this is your weekly tarot card reading and astrology predictions from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. Thank you so much, guys, for stopping by and being so awesome to me all the time. And if you're new to this channel, my name is Michelle. Welcome to my tarot table. This is your reading. So I'm going to describe the energies to you. Please take it how it resonates and apply it to where it resonates in your life anywhere even if the example doesn't exactly match up but you feel like it's happening trust it trust it trust it the message is going to come to you when the message wants to come to you yes the astrology i think is between december 7th and no, december 7th and december 14th kind of around there but just because the energy happens then doesn't mean it actually reaches you at that time so especially in your personal life globally it will be impacting then but personally it could take a while for the energy to get to you so this message comes to you when it's supposed to come to you when you need the message and when you're ready to hear it i hope you had a beautiful full moon but i'm gonna kind of say it ain't so beautiful for y'all let's get into the astrology and remember i always create an extended reading and i hope that you guys can join me for it those links are in the description box i will attach it to the end of this reading and i'll put it to the top of the comment section i love you you ready there's a full moon in Gemini <clears throat> that is conjunct to Mars. That is very volatile energy. So if you feel an extra push of spewing shit, talking shit, or not being able to control your thoughts or control your mouth or being really angry and being really emotional, even if it is, you know, uh, not, not like you, blame it on the moon because that's what's going on. 100%. And while all this is happening, it's all it Mercury, your ruling dignitary, which is now in Capricorn. So it's a lot slower. You know, things are getting a lot more practical and pragmatic instead of conceptual and intellectual. Right? So things have slowed down already. But the fact that there's also a square to Jupiter which means this sense of almost like your thoughts are just bubbling over. You're thinking so, so, so much all at once. And with that moon, listen, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of this week have probably been really, really difficult for you because your mind is going crazy. It's exploding all at once with all these and you can't really, you can't really harness them, right? It's, it's harder to harness them. Write them down, absolutely. Write them down, record them. It will help you a great deal. But it's also that everything starts to pop off in your mind and it's, 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 it's getting you emotional. It's getting you, it could be frustrating. You could be getting you angry, especially since Mars is in retrograde. What haven't I said? What haven't I been able to get out? Maybe I've been tongue tied in the past and haven't been able to say it, but I have all these thoughts in my head. Very frustrating at the least, at the least for you guys. So yeah, you're kind of in the thick of it until this weekend. And then things start to calm down. And the happy reality of later on this week is that there's a trine to Uranus, which is gonna be so, I know that sounded like a joke, right? That sounded like a punchline. Y'all can say it, go ahead, go ahead. Your comments always make me laugh the most, Gemini. So leave them below and go ahead. Um, but Uranus, 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 like there's a trine between Mercury and Uranus and that's gonna be like right place, right time, finally the right people hearing you, brilliant ideas, clear, articulate, being able to communicate them, knowing exactly who to talk to and writing them down. This is beautiful energy. So whatever the kerfuffle is that you're experiencing in the beginning of the week, you will have the energy to support you, to kind of come back around and maybe even vindicate you by the end of the week. So it's not too long to wait. It's just, it's gonna be a little rough in the beginning. Bumpy ride in the beginning. Let's get into the cards. We have dream the world into being, but it's in reverse. So in the past, you were stuck. You felt buried alive. Maybe people were burying you alive for your thoughts or your beliefs. You didn't get to say a bunch of things that you needed to say. And remember, when things come out in the past for me, it's because they are directly impacting or what's going on right now has something to do with this. So 
This is a sense of being buried, not being able to maybe ex escape your past or not being able to be creative, being creatively stifled, um, not being able to really let your past go or, or get beyond something from the past or something that you're really ashamed of and wanted to bury yourself. This is what's, it's, it's a long time ago. So it's coming out, it came out kind of like even off, off the view screen, right? So it's a while back. I wouldn't say it was even just the beginning of this year. It could be up to seven years ago. It could even be in childhood. So, but why is this coming up now? Well, let's see, how is it impacting today? Co-create with spirit. Part of that is what's finally coming out because it's rotted inside of you and now it's like the darkness has to come to light. Oh shit, we gonna get into it. It's like the darkness comes to light. And you have to trust spirit because just like I tell you in the beginning of my readings, the message comes to you when you need it. Well, guess what? It's like you're gonna deliver a message to somebody who needs it or the words are gonna finally come out and this may feel really painful and be really tough at first, but ultimately it's cathartic. It's something that really needs to be said or needs to happen and it has a lot of magic and it has a lot of power to it. Let's also get be here now. So this is definitely happening current time by the end of this week. This is Libra energy. It talks about, it's a beautiful moment. It's almost like when this can finally come out it's a beautiful moment. It's a beautiful, it's a, it's like a, it's like a good thing. Um, maybe because you don't want any more hardship or any more shit to get in the way of something that could make you really happy. You know, when you just want to get that off your chest or be forgiven for it or forgive somebody else for it. You know, this is a sense of really needing to let go, but you see this little glow in his voice near his heart. It's like he's held on to something too long. Crow, in, in, for Native Americans, is, a, is the animal that brings light into the darkness. You know, with these undefined areas of life, he helps to define by bringing in this announcement, like carrying it on his wings. So there's just this sense of something that had been kept really amorphous or really buried um, dream the world into being. Maybe you could even see a way out or didn't dare to dream or didn't have the ability to dream, okay? That is changing now. And then we have be fearless and bold. So take, this, is, this is what's happening. So Aries is in Gemini. This is an Aries energy card for me. This is a sense of y'all, oh fuck. Oh, it's coming out. Y'all is going to absolutely say what you need to say. And you don't even give a fuck who you break. Because in some ways, they had broken you. In some ways, they had harmed you. Or they'd done you wrong. Or they suppressed you. And it's like, listen, I carried that for a long time. Now I'm going to come out with it. Or now I'm going to go for it. Because I was denied the ability to go for whatever, something that was important to me. I was denied it for a long time. So this shit is coming out. And when it comes out, even if it's about you, when it comes out, you're still going to be in a position of strength. You're still going to be in a position of catharsis and, and relief in a way. Um... You want it to. You don't want to be enslaved or chained anymore. Um, and I think it's almost saying that taking action on it and being the bold one that says something and speaks it is the better position for you this week. Let's get into the moon cards. They're very important on a week of a new or full moon. They're important all the time. I love these cards, but... Uh, your dreams need a practical plan. This is full moon in Taurus. We're full moon in Gemini right now. And then we have a full moon in, then we have a full moon in Cancer, two full moons. That's interesting. Let's, 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 let's discuss. Your dreams need a practical plan. So it's almost like, yeah, you're going to take action, but here, this is what's going to trip you up. Now, Mercury, it's almost like you're finally able to take action or you're finally able to put 
pragmatics or create formulate a practical plan it's like oh maybe that's the beauty of this week is that you're finally able to see a practical plan or do apply practicality or or take practical steps like this is the first time you could actually see this happening or coming out because for the first time ever maybe you have the technology to do it which is what's going to happen later this week with uranus this could be finally that chance that you get when you finally have that technology to do something with it it's like i have all this great these great ideas but i couldn't do anything with them before i couldn't talk about it i couldn't whatever before but now it's almost like the moment is now it's like prometheus has given us has given us fire like we have the ability it's like it's, we have the ability to do it now and so we want to take action your dreams need a practical plan for the first time ever they may get one a personal issue reaches resolution so in your personal life, business life this might be career whatever maybe working out really well for you but personal life this is also a sense of resolution finally being able to resolve issues especially with fourth fourth house which is your family so having those conversations those conversations might come up you know those tough conversations those fucking family conversations that you end up throwing the turkey at each other on thanksgiving kind of conversations those kind of conversations but it's almost like that's what you need right now you, you need to not have to hold on to the burden or the stress anymore. Um, a sense of maybe being able to help somebody that you didn't feel you could help in the past, or if you weren't helped in the past, being able to help somebody now. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like, I wanna make a difference. I don't wanna repeat this shitty situation. And now is like the time when you can actually take action and make sure that that you can intervene. And that's actually what happens. Things get better, uh, especially when that Mercury trying Uranus happens later this week. You will be able to think around anything. There will, you will definitely have the technology at your fingertips. Like you can do something now that you could have never done in the past. What's coming in the future? Oh, bitch. The Empress. Uh, this is either somebody with a lot of prosperity, somebody with a lot of abundance, or it's abundance and prosperity for you. It's respectability. And it's that, well, that's what it's saying. It's like right now, your dreams need a practical plan to resolve this issue. Part of resolving this issue, making a practical plan, seeing a way forward. I know you want to do something. How can I actually do it? The good news is, and that is that in the future, Gemini, in the future, clearly you've created the practical plan because there is something that absolutely works out. The Empress sits really pretty. And this is 3D abundance, it's not conceptual. This is actually, you have created something that is abundant and something that is wonderful in the 3D world and it's solid and sustainable. What is this? Um, this could also be a mother figure, karma. Now, if you are, have been trying to get pregnant and you didn't think that you ever could, um, karma is about to change all the defeats that you've had with regards to that. You know, all those chances that didn't work out, karma is about to change, which means you didn't give up. You didn't give up on something. This could also be direct deceit, somebody actually betraying you and, and swiping something from you, stealing something from you. Karma comes around to whoever fucking stole this from you. That's what it's saying. You can finally take action. It's almost like the DNA evidence. You know what I'm saying? It's like finally being able to take action because now we have the resources and the technology to take the action. You can finally take the action. Action is going to finally be taken. Letting this fucking little secret out of the closet. I'm going to die deep. And then bam, super whammy. The empress is here, which is abundance and prosperity. So let's see what happened between those two. What is this? That's what I want to know. What is this dirty little secret? 
um, Six of Pentacles and Temperance is here, that there was more than enough for everybody. That was the truth. There was more than enough for everybody. The Lovers is here. This is Gemini energy. It's almost like making something available to many people or being able to, you know, propagate it or, or distribute it in some way. Like something was... Um, um, something was available to many to, to making something available to many people or opening up opportunities uh, so that to make things work especially when it comes to lovers two people getting together that could also be sexual um, judgment is here though as well which means this has to do with divine timing it has to do with the people who deserve it should get the opportunity for it like that's that's what I got. Like the the person, the people who really, it's like are selected, should get the opportunities, should have opportunities really hand handed to them. Um, I don't know. More specific, please. More specific for Gemini, please. More specific. Wheel of Fortune, Three of Pentacles. People are starting to see your good work good work job oh it's about getting a, re a reward for job well done like people are finally starting to see that oh my god um gemini was right or happy birthday doug denny um um rewarding somebody's hard work re rewarding the um worthy that's what the judgment card is about rewarding the worthy and having opportunities open up for you and prove and have people see wow finally my work makes sense. Maybe people shushed it up or ignored it or you weren't given a chance. Now there's a, t a thing where it's like you are going to be given a chance because people are going to see the validity of what you do. You're finally able to serve up or prove the validity of what you do. Basically, people are starting to see the validity of your work or the validity of your contribution or start to understand where you were coming from. This could have to do absolutely with family issues or resolving family problems. Um, what is the seven of swords? I just want to be specific and really articulate. What is the seven of swords? The three of cups, false friends, people who pretended to care about you, but didn't. People who you liked, you liked being around them. People who promised you money or people who invested in you. This came out in the past. Somebody invested in you in the past. And it's almost like maybe you felt bad because, oh my God, things weren't working out. This is when you can finally like either pay somebody back or show somebody, I do care about you. Or people are gonna show you, I do care about you. This is somebody who invested in you a long time ago. Somebody who was valuable or saw your value before anybody else did. And now it's like, yay, validating both of us. Aren't you lucky that you actually invested in me? And they're going to be very lucky that they invested in you because karma is going to come around and you're going to have a lot to celebrate. You know, this is a sense of feeling like it was hopeless. <laughs> like, like, like all you did was rob people. There was, there was not that you did, but feeling like, wow, I was a waste of time or a waste of space, or maybe, maybe on the opposite side of things, I didn't give somebody the credit that they deserved. So what was the credit that was, does, was deserved is like, finally, you're going to be able to say, thank you. You're going to be able to say thank you for the people who showed up when nobody else did. So it's not false friends. It's not false friends. It's people who you care about that you want to show appreciation to. Okay. Okay. Page of Pentacles. There's some sort of by opening up doors for opportunities. Six of Cups. This could also be a totally separate little side reading where Six of Cups, somebody from the past, 
like uh, finally investing in them or somebody from the past investing in you or starting something new romantically with somebody from the past or somebody from your hometown. This is like seeing the value maybe for the first time ever in where you came from and all the lessons that you were taught or just the people who supported you from day one. Like even if it wasn't big financial investments, it was an investment of faith. People who invested their faith in you and, and trusted you. Like that kind of that kind of investment really never goes away, right? It it impacts you and it changes your life. Just somebody sticking up for you. Um but I think this is an opportunity coming out of a past, especially somebody that you've known from the past or a relationship. And honestly, it is leading to super abundance. Let's get deeper into this. I wanna to go to the extended. I hope you guys will join me. The link is above somewhere here and it's also all over the place. Please do uh, pop on over and um, yeah, I'll see you guys there.